Hi, just a quick video to uh, show you a workaround for a rather annoying thing with uh, AVCHD based uh, camcorders. You're no doubt uh, familiar if you've got one that it uses the FAT32 file system and it splits files up into uh, two gigabyte file limits. So it actually uh, generates, so if you'll just leave your camcorder running as I just did for a couple of hours, um, then it just splits them up like at, at around about for the bit rate that I happen to be using, um, around about uh, 10 minutes per file. And it's just it's rather annoying, especially if you don't want to do any editing and you just want to upload this file straight to YouTube. So you've got to actually join these things. And, uh, well, how do you do that? Well, there's various different programs. I could load up my Vegas uh, editing program and do that, but then I've got to re-render the video and that takes hours, especially at uh, 60 frames per second full HD, which is a real pain in the butt. So all I want to do is join these. So these .mts uh, files, they're container files that you can simply just cascade together. You can actually just join them uh, together. So instead of using a video editing program to re-render the things, you can actually just do it and with a Windows uh, batch command. So I'll just quickly show you how to do this. I won't go through all the details, but basically just go into the Windows uh, command prompt here or whatever. Oh, well, I don't know how you do this on Linux, whatever. There's a Linux command. I'm not, I don't use Linux. Anyway, under Windows, you just go into the subdirectory which you're in, which is, this is the video for my uh, final part for my Saturn V build. And you can see all the files in there and you just use the command. Uh, there it is there, copy. Uh, slash B and then you include every file 0000, 000, 000, 000 plus MTS 01 right through to 09 and then you give it the final file that you want merged dot uh, MTS I called it on a separate drive and you run that it takes a little while to actually do that it took a minute or two on my machine to join all those uh, two gig files together but bingo what you actually end up with is sure enough a merged dot MTS file and well you can just play that there it is and it's all hunky-dory oh that's just yep <laughs> that's just VLC glitching a little bit so I've now got my completed one hour and 43 minute video merged together fantastic so that's all there is to it so now I can just take that merged uh, MTS file and drag that into my uh, handbrake which is what I usually use for transcoding and handbrake will not join files together by the way so anyway if you want to have a look at my batch file which I've got a whole bunch of these batch files on my Windows desktop which I simply drag my files to and it uh, basically loads up handbrake the handbrake command line interface and it feeds in the file and then it adds some stuff on the end and then I set all the profile the quality factor the rate the you know everything else that I actually want um, in there and uh, then I can simply take my finished file whether it's an output from uh, Vegas for example which is my editor when I do in my regular videos or just this to make a, for a smaller file size I simply drag that over to there and bingo it's going to run in another screen there we go so it's it'll take a little bit to process that of course but I want a smaller file size to upload I'm not going to upload a 20 gig file to YouTube um, that's just nuts so this will get that right down the 20 gig right down because it's a constant quality factor and there's not much movement in this video so it should it should compress reasonably well it'll compress down to I don't know you know four gig or you know three gig maybe something like that I'm not exactly sure it depends on uh, how much movement is in the video screen captures for example compress really well using handbrake or using any constant quality factor compression the x264 codec um, they compress superbly well because there literally is no difference between one screen and the next except when you move your mouse cursor or you did did whatever so the compression is really brilliant but anyway so there you go there's a little tip for just joining um, MTS files you can just join them together AVCHD uh, format files you could automate this you could have you know you could write some sort of batch program to uh, like uh, to get the number of like so you didn't have to manually go in and type it in and just get all the files and everything but I uh, haven't written one of those but you certainly could and you could have it just as an icon like this and just drag all the files in perhaps or whatever drag the subdirectory in or do whatever anyway hope you found that useful if you did give it a big thumbs up catch you next time